Hey guys, this is Shivam Shah. Welcome to the YouTube channel and do subscribe to the channel for the latest updates on NEET and JEE. In this video, we are going to discuss about nitrogen fixation and the tricks related to how to remember these bacteria involved in this process. So, let's get going. So, firstly, we need to understand that atmospheric nitrogen is 78%. I mean to say that nitrogen occupies 78% of our atmosphere and this molecular nitrogen has a structure of N triple bond N making it have a very high bond dissociation energy that means that this nitrogen is unreactive rather non-reactive under normal ordinary temperatures making it inert thus if nitrogen is unreactive it is metabolically useless for the organisms but these organisms require nitrogen inorganic nitrogen for the biosynthesis of various amino acids, proteins, hormones, vitamins and chlorophyll for plants. But then how do you get it? Here comes the phenomena of nitrogen fixation. Nitrogen fixation is the process where atmospheric nitrogen gets converted into ammonia or closely related nitrogenous compounds. So this is the process. So nitrogen fixation gets divided into two processes. One is the biological process, the other is the non-biological process. So in the non-biological process, what happens is the atmospheric nitrogen finally gets into a reaction. Well, I said it's inert, but it does get into a reaction because lightning occurs and it provides a temperature over 1000 degrees Celsius. And this is the energy which is enough for breaking the molecular nitrogen and it reacts with oxygen to form various nitric oxides. So this was a physical process and then comes a chemical process. This nitric oxide reacts with water to form nitric acid and the nitric acid gives away nitrate ions. These nitrate ions are utilized by the plants directly. So now let's move on to the non-biological, rather the biological process. This was the non-biological process which I explained. Now is the biological process where actually microbes, the prokaryotes, rather the microorganisms, fix atmospheric nitrogen. We are going to discuss this process in detail now. Biological nitrogen fixation gets divided into cyanobacteria that's the blue green algae and also bacteria both of these get divided into free living and symbiotic well moving on to the examples of free living cyanobacteria we have anabina nostoc oscillatoria well anabina and nostoc have heterocysts these are specialized cells which help in fixing atmospheric nitrogen well for oscillatoria they have no heterocysts even though there is no heterocyst, oscillatoria is capable of fixing atmospheric nitrogen. So we can conclude that oscillatoria is free living, it is aerobic and it is capable of fixing atmospheric nitrogen in the absence of heterocysts. Well, moving to the examples of symbiotic cyanobacteria, we have again anabina and nostoc. One prominent example is that of azola and anabina. Azola is an aquatic fern. So they have a mutualistic relationship, Azola and Arabina. And then they can fix atmospheric nitrogen. Let's move on to the next part, that's bacteria. Well, for free living bacteria, we have the example of Bacillus. It is both aerobic and anaerobic. Nothing is mentioned in the NCRT. Well, the aerobic free living ones are Azotobacter and Bajernichia. For the free-living anaerobic bacteria, we have Clostridium and Rhodospirillum. If you have solved the past 20 years paper, you will get Rhodospirillum in quite a few questions, which is a anaerobic nitrogen-fixing bacteria, free-living bacteria. So now we'll move to the symbiotic bacteria. Symbiotic bacteria have an example of Frankia, which shows symbiotic uh, relationship, a mutualistic relationship with non-leguminous plants like the alder trees which is also called the alnest trees well there's one more example that's the rhizobium rhizobium shows mutualistic that symbiotic relationship with symbiosis with leguminous plants which include alpha alpha lentils clover beans etc the rest of this is mentioned in the ncrt well i would like to mention an important point that is 
Frankia and Rhizobium exists freely in aerobic condition. But when they have to fix atmospheric nitrogen, they exist in anaerobic condition. They form symbiotic bacteria. They have symbiotic relationships with other things. So, under normal conditions, they exist freely in the soil. So, why does this happen? I'll explain that. Nitrogenase, an enzyme which helps in the nitrogen fixation, which is a, nothing but a molybdenum iron protein, helps in this process, which helps in this process, works only under anaerobic conditions, due to which rhizobium and frankia become anaerobic while fixing atmospheric nitrogen. So that's all. Wait, there's one more important example, the prominent example of azospirillum, which shows associative biological nitrogen fixation. Azospirillum associates with cereal grasses and fixes atmospheric nitrogen. Azospirillum also induces plant growth. So that would be all for biological nitrogen fixation. And now we'll move on to the tricks on how to remember these bacteria names. So now comes the section where we are going to discuss about the tricks on how to remember the bacteria names uh, which help in nitrogen fixing. First we have the mnemonic which would help us in remembering the cyanobacteria names. Well, uh, that goes as AON. AON is normally the all or none law which we uh, like study in the human physiology part. Well, AON stands for Anabina Oscillatoria Nostoc. Well, I created one more mnemonic uh, for the same cyanobacteria names which has uh, like which goes like NACO. NACO is the government organization uh, which uh, helps in AIDS awareness and NACO normally actually stands for National AIDS uh, control organization which itself is an important question for NEET and otherwise for remembering the cyanobacteria names we have uh, Nostoc, Anabina, Cyanobacteria, Oscillatorium. So lastly we have one more trick which would help you remembering the names uh, of the bacteria which shows symbiotic relationship uh, in nitrogen fixing which goes as Baraf B for Bradyrhizobium which uh, shows symbiosis with which shows symbiosis with uh, soybeans and then we have azorhizobium which shows symbiosis with uh, uh, sesbania rostrata then with r we have rhizobium rhizobium with uh, leguminous plants and then again anabina with azola which was an aquatic fern and lastly frankia which shows with non-leguminous plants like the alder trees or the alnus trees so this is all my telegram link is here here you'll get more tricks and mind maps which will help you in memorizing and make learning easy well, uh, I have also created the biology and chemistry strategies which I'll attach here for the NEET 2020 aspirants. So that's all. Comment down if you want more content for biology and uh, you can also state the uh, topic with, on which you want. So that's all. Stay tuned and thank you.